Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Um, I'm Nicole, this is Christina. Um, today we're going to be using this beautiful Mulaney Dairy milk. Um, it was generously given to us by Mulaney Dairies. It is so beautiful and fresh and we're going to use it in two different ways. I'm going to go down a more traditional French route. I'm going to make a tart tartan. I'm going to show you how to make fresh ricotta and put it into that tart tartan. And what are you doing, Christina? That sounds amazing. Today I am heading back to my South African roots where my dad was born and I'm going to make a South African dish called a babuwa tea. Oh, awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna use the milk. The top has like a custard layer and yeah, you soak the bread and the mm. milk as well, so. Yes, I'm going to get us started. So a couple of things. So I'm going to make the ricotta first off. Basically, I'm just going to heat up some milk and you just separate the curds in the way with some vinegar. And I'm going to bring that up to 85 degrees. So it just goes straight in. While that's getting up to temp, I'm going to start cutting up my onions for my tart to tan. What are you getting up to? Beautiful. I'm going to get started on my babua tea. Cut the crusts off the bread. I've got four pieces here. And what we're going to do is to soak this bread in our milk, probably in about two cups of milk. And the bread is kind of going to act as the glue that's going to stick the mints together in this dish. So I've got my onion sliced here. I'm just going to check the temperature of my milk. And then as soon as it's at 85, I'm going to separate it with a bit of white vinegar. Meantime, I'm going to start caramelizing my onions and leaves for this tart to tart. So I'm yeah. going to cut my onions Good. now. Christina, I'm actually going to cut these leeks into circles because I want the leek tartar tan to be really visually appealing. So I'm going to have them kind of different shapes and sizes. So all I'm going to do is caramelize these onions separately, get a little bit of color on my leeks in the pan, and then I'm going to add some black vinegar and some sugar, caramelize that all together, and then we put our puff pastry on top, sprinkle the ricotta underneath the puff pastry, and um, put it into the oven. Christina and I have actually just been to an event at Mulaney Dairies. A whole bunch of local producers got together and yeah, to showcase their food and it was amazing. All the food was just incredible. What a night. Yeah, and everyone up there at Mulaney is just beautiful. So Should I'm I do? just caramelizing these onions down. So as soon as that hits 85, I'm gonna take that off the heat. I'm just gonna leave these to caramelize on their own and I'm gonna add a couple of tablespoons of white wine vinegar. So you just want to get that liquid as clear as possible um, and just see that separation in the curds and the whey. I'm going to begin to saute off my onions now and I'm going to add in a whole bunch of aromats. I'm going to use my coriander and cumin seeds. And the next thing we're going to add is our curry paste and our turmeric. The turmeric is what gives the babua tea the traditional bright yellow colour that you want to see in a babua tea. So before we strain off our ricotta, I'm just going to put it into the fridge for about 15 minutes just to cool down. All right, I'm going to saute my onions off now. Get them in the pot. I'm just going to add my coriander and cumin seeds oh, in with those onions. I've put in about a tablespoon of balsamic vinegar, a pinch of sugar, and I'm just going to let that caramelize down until it's really nice and sticky. I'm going to put that aside, put my leeks in to sort of caramelise for about a minute or so and then I'm going to assemble the tart. I'm just going to squeeze the milk out of the spread. Do you ever take your ring off when you're cooking? Um, well, no, because it's new, so I'm a bit attached. <laughs> How about yourself? Well, I take it off to do the dishes and if it's anything messy, I take it off. But I, I don't really like to. I, I don't like being without it. Right, so into the spread where I've strained out that milk, I'm going to crack two eggs into it. And this is going to basically be the glue that sticks the babua tea together. I can smell that coriander and cumin seed. I'm going to add my curry paste and turmeric now. I'm just going to add my leeks into my pan now. I just want to get them caramelizing for about two minutes and then they kind of soften when they're baking in the oven in the tart tartan. So you don't want to overcook them because you'll end up burning them. So there's two forms of sweetness in this babua tea. We've got our sultanas, alternatively you can use raisins. Um, and we're also going to add a chutney into it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get the mince cooking off with the aromats and the onions right yeah. now. So I've got about 500 grams of mince cooking down. Got all my aromats in the pan, the onions. I'm just going to add my sultanas and slivered almonds. That'll give it a nice sweetness and then a bit of a crunchy element. I'm just flipping my leeks over now um, and then basically all we do is put the caramelized onions on top and sprinkle this ricotta. I'm going to show you guys how to make this ricotta. So that's cooled down in the fridge for about 15. And I'm just going to strain that through a strainer. It's good when you get a good yield of ricotta, you know it's a really good quality milk. I'm going to leave that in the fridge just to drain off a little bit more. So I made this one earlier today actually, just because I knew it would be setting for an hour. Um, but yeah, it's really nice and firm and it bakes really well. We've got our mince and aromat mixture over here. I've added our sultanas, I've added the slivered almonds. Next I'm going to add probably about, depends how sweet you like it, but about half a cup of chutney. Add the juice of a lemon and we're going to add some salt. Yum. Next I have our bread and egg mixture. So I'm just going to add that in with the mince. You've got to mix this quite quickly and quite well. You don't want that egg turning into scrambled eggs. Get this into the baking tray. So guys, I'm almost done. I've got my leeks here. They're nice and caramelized. They're going to go into the oven for about 15, 20 minutes until that pastry is nice and you know crispy and puffy. So I'm going to go in with my caramelized onions on top. And with our fresh ricotta, I'm just going to crumble that and it bakes so nicely. And we're going to put some fresh ricotta on top as well. I'm just going to be a little bit naughty. I'm going to put a little bit of butter on top just so it gets really nice mm. and you know yummy. So I'm just going to go in. Basically, just want to kind of tuck the edges into your pan. And then that goes into the oven at 180 for about 15, 20 until it's nice and puffed up and golden. Here for the milk custard topping, I'm gonna do two cups of milk and two eggs and we're going to whisk that all together. And how long do you cook that for? Probably about 45 minutes. I would love some salt. I'll salt you. Ah, oh, look at that. <laughs> You're good to me. Going to pour that on top. So what we're going to put on top of this custard are bay leaves. A nice little sprinkle of nutmeg. Mm, yum. Pop this in the oven, yeah. 160 degrees for about 45 minutes. Tart time. Tart time, <laughs> Tina. Let's oh. do it. This part of a tart tan is so satisfying. This is the best. <laughs> the moment of truth. And you kind of just got to hope for the best. I like. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, beautiful. Would you that look at good. that? Cool. We are going to top this with some fresh ricotta and some chives. I'm just going to sprinkle that on top. Look at these caramelized leaves. They look oh, so good. So I'm so good. excited. And then you've just got this sticky balsamic sweet onion. You've got the fresh ricotta. You've got the baked ricotta underneath. I'm just going to check my baboti. Time to get this out of the oven. Ooh. That should be sweet. It's got that crunch from the almonds mm. and it's just completely aromatic. It's just something different that we don't really get, um, you know, in Australia. It's more of a South African dish, which is awesome. So this is milk, two different ways. We've got your beautiful caramelized onion and leek tartatan. We can now make fresh ricotta. Yes, we can. And we've got a South African baboti. Something for the weeknight, something for maybe entertaining, yeah. or something to bring to a picnic. It's something that's really easy to make. You've probably got the ingredients in your kitchen already. Just give it a go. Let's eat. Let's eat. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Make sure you subscribe you. to our channel. The recipes will be up online. We'll have our links down below.